वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज माय एस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर हर्षि नाने टीचिंग द सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर एड इंजीनियरिंग एंड द टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सेशन इन न्यूमेरिकल ऑन शेप फंक्शन द टॉपिक्स कवर इन द टूडे सेशन ऑन न्यूमेरिकल एंड शेप फंक्शन for two dimensional triangular elements in case of two dimensional triangular elements we have seen that the shape functions are n1 is equal to epsilon n2 is equal to nita and n3 is equal to 1 minus epsilon minus nita for triangular elements there are three nodes so there are three shape functions consider the numerical one which is stated as in a triangular element The nodes one, two, and three have coordinates thirty, forty, one hundred, forty, seventy, and eighty, comma one hundred forty respectively. One hundred forty respectively. The displacements in the node one, two, and three are zero point one, zero point five, zero point six, zero point five. And zero point four, zero point three, respectively. The point P of coordinates seventy seven, ninety six within the element determine the shape functions and displacement of the point P. According to the data given in numerical, we can present this data into graphical way in local coordinate system. is shown in the screen it consists of three nodes node 1 2 and 3 having node 1 coordinates 30 40 having node 2 coordinates 140 and 70 and node 3 coordinates 80 and 140 since the problem is of two dimensional therefore each node is associated with two degrees of freedom u and v similarly node 1 is associated with u1 v1 Similarly, node two is associated with u two v two, and node three is associated with u three v three. So, the given data for the numerical is x one y one is equal to thirty forty, x two y two is equal to one hundred forty seventy, x three y three is equal to eighty one hundred forty, u one v one is equal to zero point one zero point five, u two v two is equal to 0.6, 0.5, and u3, v3 is equal to 0.4, 0.3. Then the point P in x, y is equal to 77, 96. To obtain the shape functions, we have x is equal to x n1, x1 plus n2, x2 plus n3, x3. Similarly, y is equal to n1, y1 plus n2, y2. Plus n3 by 3. Therefore, putting the value of n1, n2, and n3 in the above equations, we will get x is equal to epsilon x1 plus nita x2 plus 1 minus epsilon minus nita into x3. Similarly, y is equal to epsilon y1 plus nita y2 plus 1 minus epsilon minus nita into y3. Therefore. X is equal to x one minus x three into epsilon plus x two minus x three into nita plus x three, and y is equal to y one minus y three into epsilon plus y two minus y three into nita plus y three. Therefore, putting the values of x y x one x two x three y one y two y three, we will get seventy seven is equal to thirty minus eighty epsilon. Plus 140 minus 80 nita plus 80 and 96 is equal to 40 minus 140 into epsilon plus 70 minus 140 into nita plus 140, which gives rise to minus 50 epsilon plus 60 nita is equal to minus 3 and minus 100 epsilon minus 70 nita is equal to minus 44 or Minus 50 epsilon plus 60 nita is equal to minus 3. Let it as equation A, and 50 epsilon 
plus 35 nita is equal to 22 let it as equation b by solving this equation a and b we will get the value of epsilon and nita therefore epsilon is equal to 0.3 and nita is equal to 0.2 therefore the shape functions are n1 is equal to epsilon which is equal to 0.3 n2 is equal to nita which is equal to 0.2 and n3 is equal to 1 minus epsilon minus nita which is equal to 0.5 now displacement at point p is given by definition of shape function as u is equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2 plus n3 u3 by putting this value of n1 n2 and n3 and u1 u2 u3 will get 0 0.3 into 0.1 plus 0 0.2 into 0 0.6 plus 0 0.5 into 0 0.4 which gives rise to u is equal to 0 0.35 mm similarly v is equal to n1 v1 plus n2 v2 plus n3 v3 by putting all the values of n1 n2 n3 and v1 v2 v3 you will get v is equal to 0 0.4 mm therefore the displacement of the point is 0 0.35 and 0 0.4 mm respectively. Consider the second numerical which stated as the temperatures in a degree Celsius at nodes 1, 2 and 3 are 100, 200 and 300 respectively. The coordinates of the nodes and that of point are given in the table below. Determine the temperature at point P. The node 1 in the table, node 1 has the coordinates 0, 0, while node 2 has the coordinates 10, 0, and node 3 has the coordinates 5, 8, while the point P having the coordinate 5, 6. According to the given data, the figure can be established and presented on the screen. In local coordinate system, node 1 having coordinate 0, 0, node 2 having coordinate 10, 0, and node 3 having coordinate 5, 8, while the point P has coordinate 5, 6. The given data is T1 is equal to 100 degrees Celsius, T2 is equal to 200 degrees Celsius, T3 is equal to 300 degrees Celsius. X1, Y1 is 0, 0, X2, Y2 is 10, 0. And x3 y3 is 5 8 while the point p x y has coordinates of 5 6 now calculation of natural coordinates or calculation of shape functions now we know that x is equal to n1 x1 plus n2 x2 plus n3 x3 as like previous numerical and y is equal to n1 y1 plus n2 y2 plus n3 y3 therefore x is equal to putting the values of n1 n2 and n3 we get x is equal to epsilon x1 plus nita x2 plus 1 minus epsilon minus nita into x3 and y is equal to epsilon y1 plus nita y2 plus 1 minus epsilon minus nita into y3 therefore x is equal to x1 minus x3 into epsilon plus x2 minus x3 into nita plus x3 and y is equal to y1 minus y3 into epsilon plus y2 minus y3 into nita plus y3 therefore 5 is equal to 0 minus 5 into epsilon plus 10 minus 5 into nita plus 5 and 6 is equal to 0 minus 8 into epsilon plus 0 minus 8 into nita plus 8 therefore minus 5 epsilon plus 5 nita is equal to 0 and minus 8 epsilon minus 8 nita is equal to minus 2 or even get minus epsilon plus nita is equal to 0 and epsilon plus nita is equal to 1 by 4 therefore by solving this equation we will get epsilon is equal to 0 0.125 and nita is equal to 0 0.125 now shape functions 
are calculated on the basis of epsilon and eta n1 is equal to epsilon which is equal to 0.125 n2 is equal to eta which is equal to 0.125 and n3 is equal to 1 minus epsilon minus eta which is equal to 1 minus 0.125 minus 0.125 that is 0.75 now the temperature at point p we know that the temperature at point p within the element for two dimensional element case is t is equal to n1 t1 plus n2 t2 plus n3 t3 which is equal to 0 0.125 into 100 plus 0 0.125 into 200 plus 0 0.75 into 300 therefore t is equal to 262.5 degree celsius Hence, the temperature at point p within the triangular element is 262.5 degrees celsius okay friends this is about the numericals on on triangular elements having two dimension and three nodes we know that the three shape functions are n1 is equal to epsilon n2 is equal to neta and n3 is equal to 1 minus epsilon minus neta by obtaining the values of epsilon and neta with the help of coordinates we will obtain the shape functions and uh, using shape function we can obtain the property at any point within the element okay friends today's session is over now next session we will discuss about numericals on four noded two dimensional elements thank you